all. I'd like to talk about several things today, but the focus of what I'd like to talk about is holidays, specifically Valentine's Day, which is just around the corner. And the first thing I'd like to point out, there was a woman in the office today who had not been here in four months. During that period of time, she had put on eight and a half pounds. We had a long discussion and she said to me, Dr. Schwartz, I wasn't coming in and my life was not focused around weight loss and I did gain almost eight and a half pounds. And I said, okay, how do you think you gained eight and a half pounds? Her answer was simple. I didn't think and I ate too much. And how do you feel about coming back now after four months? Her answer was simple. I feel wonderful because I know in half the period of time I will lose that weight and even lose more. I then said to her, so you're using me as your stabilization and maintenance program? She said, I never thought about that, but no. Wouldn't it have been much easier if she had a design, a plan, a structure in her mind to deal with it? Number two, a woman came in the office today. She has not been here in three months and she lost three and a half pounds. And I said to her, what drove you back to the office? And she said, well, I never finished what it is that I was doing and I want to lose the rest of the weight. What was very interesting to me is that she never took credit for having created a lifestyle before she stopped so that she not only did not gain, but had lost three and a half pounds. Now, what am I saying? Dr. Chu would say all behavior is determined. Simplistically, that means everything is cause and effect. There is no coincidence. I say nothing is free. You have to pay for everything. Now let's connect this with Valentine's. Valentine focus should be on caring and loving about ourselves and other people. But because the nature of humans is the way it is, the focus is about celebration. Now, if you're going to celebrate, there is nothing for free. And if you're going to indulge, you're going to have to pay for it. And therefore, what I want you to think about is that process. If you're going to have to pay for it, then if you want a Maserati, then go and eat to your heart's content until you're totally bloated, knowing you're going to take X amount of extra time to take the weight off after. Or you could plan proportionally what you're going to have to limit certain foods that are not in your best interest, to try portion control, and to not overindulge. 
you're in charge. You're the one responsible. And don't say, Dr. Schwartz, I can't help myself. It's Dr. Schwartz, I'm choosing not to help myself. And I realize I'm going to have to pay for it. Not, but I don't want to pay for it. Everything is cause and effect. Nothing tastes as good as thin feels. What are we saying then? Know where you're going. And limit the simple starches, the sugars. Limit the alcohol, or if you don't limit the alcohol, then limit the food. Nothing feels as good as thin feels. That's really true. Have a good Thanksgiving next year, but in the meantime, have a great Valentine's Day. <laughs>